Good morning friends. Welcome to Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have discussed various phases of a compiler such as lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generator, code optimization and target code generator. In this video, I will take one expression in the high level language and will convert into assembly code so that you will understand about each phase in a compiler in a better way. So let me discuss about that one. Let's take that I have taken an expression as d is equal to a plus b into c. Okay. This is the expression I have taken in the high level long ways and I have given to the lexical analysis. What is the purpose of a lexical analysis? It takes the high level long ways and it will remove the white spaces and the comments. In this expression, there are no comments and white spaces. So what it will do is that it will read the high level long ways character by character and generates the token. So what is the tokens it will generate as id is equal to id which is an identifier because d is an identifier, a is an identifier, plus c is an operator and b is an identifier and c is an identifier. So it is generating the identifier is equal to identifier plus identifier into identifier. That one if I give to the syntax analysis phase what it will generate. What the syntax analysis phase will do? It will generate the syntax tree or the parse tree. So what the syntax analysis will take? It will take the sequence of tokens as an input and also the corresponding grammar. What is a grammar? Grammar can be represented as v, t, p, s where v is the set of vertices in the grammar and t is the set of terminals and set of productions and the start symbol. So let's take the corresponding grammar what it is that s is equal to or let's I should not write equal s determines id equal to e and e determines e plus t or t, t determines t star f or f, f determines id. This is the corresponding grammar or the context free grammar for this equation. Is it clear? Now any identifier is equal to identifier something is there. Means left hand side you have an identifier and right hand side some expression is there. It is a collection of identifiers. If it is syntactically correct, it has to go through this grammar. So how it will do it is we will discuss now. So S yes is the start symbol. From the start symbol, I can able to generate as id is equal to e. Now from e, I can determine as e plus t. From t, I can determine as t star f. From f, I can determine id which is an identifier. From t, I can determine f. From f, I can determine the identifier. Similarly, from e, I can determine t. From t, I can determine f. From f, I can determine identifier. Similarly, we got the identifier here. So, totally we have all the terminals at the end. So, finally, you should have all the terminals. So, how we will yield the parse tree? We will start from the start symbol, we will go from left to right. So we, whenever we got a terminal, we will place them, okay, id is a terminal, okay. Then we got the equal to, so we have written which is a terminal and then we will go to the right. Whenever there is a non-terminal, we will go non-terminal, 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 so finally we got a terminal, we will write it as an identifier. Now we will go and we got a plus, we will write it, then we will go, we will go, we will go and then finally we got the identifier which is a terminal, again we got a terminal, we got a terminal and then finally we will go to the start symbol. This entire process we will call as a yielding of a parse tree, so it is syntactically correct. Now this one, this parse tree, I will give to the semantic analysis because the next phase of a compiler is the semantic analysis, okay. 
this semantic analysis what is the purpose of the semantic analysis is that it will check whether it is semantically correct or wrong now what is the meaning is that the data type or the identifier which is there in the left hand side whether it is equal to data type of the right hand side expression let's take that all are the integers here so left hand side you have an integer and right hand side also you are generating the integer so i can say that it is semantically correct so what is the semantic analysis will generate it will generate the annotated parse tree or the annotated syntax tree that will be given to intermediate code generator the intermediate code generator will generate the three address code Now what is the three address code for this one? If you take that we have the addition and multiplication which has the highest priority. Multiplication has the highest priority. So first we will do T1 is equal to B into C where T1 is a temporary variable. Similarly we will do T2 is equal to A plus T1. Okay. Then we will write D is equal to T2. This is the three address code which is generated by the intermediate code generator. This one if I give to the code optimization phase, it will try to reduce the three address code if it is possible. So let's check when can we reduce it or not. What it will reduce is T1 is equal to B into C. Directly it will write D is equal to A plus T1. It reduces the temporary variable T2. So with three address three three address code we have reduced it to two three address codes okay so there is a code optimization is done so this corresponding code optimization output finally i will give to the target code generator what is the target code generator will generate it will generate the assembly code okay are able to understand finally we have taken the high level language and the assembler means not assembler compiler will convert into assembly code so what is the corresponding assembly code is that we have to do the multiplication and we'll store this b and c in the some register such as r0 and r1 okay then what i will do i will have to perform the addition a and t1 the t1 value is there in the r0 register and a value I will store it in some register called R2, R2 comma R0. So the a and the T1 value which is there in R0 will be performed addition and finally this value I want to store it in the D, okay. So this is the corresponding assembly code will be generated for the given high level language expression. So I hope you have understood how I converted the high level language expression to assembly code by traversing with the all the phases in a compiler. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like my teaching and my efforts, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.